Here's some left hand stretching chord shapes. I'll play through the sequence and then break them down. Okay, let's have a look at these shapes. Let's see what we've got first of all. The first chord shape takes a conventional E, just adds the ninth into the chord, and we get this shape here, which is the second finger on fret 5, string 5, uh, second finger, fret 2, string 5, fourth finger, fret 4, string uh, 4, and the index finger on fret 1, string 3. Conventional P I N A pattern. Next chord shape. Bit of a stretch on this one. We've still got the E. We've got the C sharp, which is the uh, fourth fret string five. The G sharp, which is the sixth fret string four, and the A, which is the second fret on string three. Finger this with the second, fourth, and index finger. So you'll really feel the stretch between these fingers here. Again, simple pattern: P I N A. Really watching to get on the fingertips on these chords. Avoid all these sort of dead notes. Remember, push the wrist out but keep it relaxed. Thumb down on the back of the neck, and you can utilize both the joints and the fingers to get that chord. Add in a little bit more of a stretch to change the chord to an A. Same notes, except now we've got the third finger, fret five, string six. There we go. Broadly an A major nine chord there, root third major seven. Root ninth again. Okay, it's the first three chords. Uh, watch the shift in the fingers. There's no real reason to move the fingers around too much apart from sliding up. Again. There. Okay. Back to one chord. We're going to play an E chord here. A particularly beautiful chord voicing again. Uh, an E major nine chord uh, with the ninth voiced low in the chord as well. Fingering is finger four, fret nine, string five. Index finger, fret 6, string 4, and third finger, fret 7, string 3. Same right hand pattern. Okay. We could change that to a B chord if we wanted to, or we could have a C as an E major 9 with a B in the bass. Okay, by adding the second finger, fret 7, string 6. A nice little uh, trick on this one um, is to put the fifth of the chord, the B, all the way up on string 1. You're doubling the B here, which is not something you'd, you'd normally think about, but as an exercise, we're going to have to take that second finger, very awkward finger, place it onto the seventh fret of string one. Okay. Very, very tricky to get all these fingers in place, but important to be able to voice chords like this. Uh, same right hand fingering pattern, P, I, M, down to the A. There's that second finger, that's the tricky note. Simple variation on that chord. Fourth finger, index finger, third finger, second finger fret seven string one. Okay. We can also place that second finger on uh, fret seven string two again. We're doubling the ninth in the chord here. Okay, make it a little bit cleaner on string one. The next chord again. We can keep an E bass note against this. You can look at this as an E add 4 chord effectively, root, 3rd, 4th or 11, which is the A. Dubbing the root, 5th, and the root again up on string 1. Finger-wise, 4th finger, fret 11, string 5. Index finger, uh, fret 7, string 4, and 2nd or 3rd finger, I'll use the 2nd finger, on fret 9, of string 3. Again, the right hand pattern is simply P, 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 I, M, A. Okay. Another nice thing to do on this chord is to add, you could add an A again, double the A, more as an exercise, more than a sound quality. Uh, in this case, this is going to be fret 10 of string 2 with the third finger. Okay, get a little bit more clarity on that one. Okay. Take that a stage further, now this is very tricky actually, I'm going to fret this one with the knuckle to get the 7th of the chord, uh, the flat 7th in this case, which is the D. I've actually folded my 
knuckle over, so I'm fretting with this part of the left hand finger. Okay. Harsher chord sounds, a dominant 7 chord, a dominant 11, you wouldn't necessarily use it, but as an exercise in actually fretting that note right up on the top, here it is fretted on the fingertips. Okay. Trick your voice into getting into place there. You probably won't jump into these, but you'll feel uh, the value of the stretching on these. Don't use them as an initial warm up though, make sure that the hand is uh, warmed up and conditioned before you jump into these shapes. The final chord shape is a B chord. In this case, it's uh, a B with the 11th in the E, so uh, a simple B at 11 chord. Root, 5th, uh, there's the ninth as well. You can see this is a sus2, sus4, I suppose. Root, 5th, uh, sus2, sus4. Um, and the voicing for there, the fingering is index finger fret 7, string 6, second finger fret 9, string 5, ele uh, 11th finger, 4th finger uh, fret 11, string 4, and the third finger up on the E, um, fret 9, string 3, again P, 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 I, M, A. You could also change the finger around to get a B, add 9 chord, very nice chord here. Um, you don't always play these chord voicings doubling all these notes because of course we're limited to 6 notes, but for the purposes of exercises that, you know, it's quite convenient to do so. I've changed the chord finger a little bit here um, to get a B, add 9, sorry, B, uh, B add 9, add 11 because we've got the E in this chord as well. Root, fret 7, string 6, third finger, fret 9, string 5, fourth finger up on fret 11, String four. Now it's the second finger on fret eight, string three. Lovely chord. Okay. Nice little harping exercise. I'll do this one slowly. It's quite tricky to map out this shape. But we're thinking. Okay. Have to think about that one a little bit. Um, another chord which is, works very well with that is the first chord we looked at. The E add 9 chord, same chord transpose down to E minus the 11th. Okay. All these chords can be harped. Big stretch on the A chord there. One more time.